we have to think bigger about what it means to invest in public safety. As director of the Office for Safe and Healthy Neighborhoods, Rashad Abdur Rahman is waiting to see what will be in the final budget voted on tonight by Metro Council. I'm feeling hopeful and I'm feeling committed to what we're here to do. His office works to find ways to comprehensively reduce and prevent violence in Louisville. Last week, the budget committee voted to amend Mayor Greg Fisher's budget proposal to cut $1 million in funding for his department. We certainly have not solved the issue of violence by any stretch of the imagination, so we, we have to continue making investments in preventing these things from happening in the first place. If the cut is approved, it will likely be felt by the violence interrupters. Individuals tasked with intervening when potentially violent situations are occurring. Abdul Rahman faced tough questions about the program from Metro Council members, but he says he's seen positive results. We've pointed to reductions in shootings um, in our focus areas. We've been pointing to reductions in homicides where the work is taking place. Tonight's vote comes as the city is grappling with two deadly weekends during which six people were killed and more than a dozen others were shot. Abdul Rahman says the spike in violence only reinforces why the work his office is doing is essential. We need to expand the work into other areas where we're seeing shootings taking place so that we can have violence prevention and violence interruption opportunities to keep these shootings and these homicides from happening. Abdul Rahman says he's also concerned about how cuts to the living room, youth detention services, and other nonprofit partners who ser serve the most vulnerable in Louisville will impact public safety. Now, this meeting is set to start here at City Hall at 6 o'clock. Reporting live, Denny Camper, WLKY News.